I've got a few uh, different things here, a little bit on the history of the ranch that relates to buffalo hunting. Uh, we'll start with this. Bison we know have been around in this area since the Clovis uh, period, which goes back roughly 13,000 years. And archaeologists call that the Paleo period. And this is a spear point from that period. It's roughly 10,000 years old. It was found on our ranch by my dad, uh, actually right out where you guys were buffalo hunting. Really? And those were probably put on that ladle, the spears and thrown, and they found these with buffalo DNA on them before. So they, so they use this type of thing to kill buffalo. Yeah, can you imagine yeah, going up and oh. sticking one with that? Yeah. Oh, no, I can't <laughs> imagine that at all. Man. Those are tough animals. It could be one reason those people died out. <laughs> <laughs> they had to have been brave, yeah, and I'm sure did. a lot of them didn't make it either. Uh, over here, these are two... Uh, actual Sharps bullets that I found when I was a kid in the Sand Hills back in the 60s on our ranch. So these are over 100 years old? You oh yeah, yeah they're probably 1870s, 1880s and notice the concave base on these. Yeah. That's one giveaway on them. The grooves are of course for putting the lube mm -hmm. on to keep the fouling right. down with the black powder. That concave base expands to fill up the barrel so as the barrel heated up the base would expand to engage the grooves on the rifle right, and still okay. keep its accuracy. So, when those, they, go ahead. When those guys were shooting buffalo with the sharps back in the 1870s, I mean, how, mm -hmm. many, how many times were they shooting a day? Oh man, there's been uh, some of the old accounts tell of them shooting a few hundred buffalo or more in a single day. They would actually change rifles, have two rifles change when the barrel got hot. Uh, sometimes they'd actually have water and pour down the barrel to cool it off. Uh, it's hard to imagine, you know. When they, when they have a buffalo, it was meat hunting or, or what would it, uh, what would they harvest? Were they just killing buffalo or were they using the meat? Or? Uh, actually when the, uh, the big hunt started uh, for commercial purposes, the buffalo were hunted for meat purposes. The tanneries didn't have a way to tan the hides at that time. Once they figured out back east how to tan the hides, uh, then the hides became actually more valuable than okay. the meat. So then it was a vice versa thing. They then it almost the became meat. a slaughter after it, that, I guess. It actually yeah. became a slaughter, exactly. And uh, this is a modern, actually one from the same uh, sharps you guys were using. That's a 500 grain bullet. Mm -hmm. And this I uh, recovered from a buffalo I shot, a bull. Yeah. But you can see the... Um, that would hurt. If they hit a uh, soft target, they'll deform like that, much like this. They have a little pitting on the tip. And this is the same bullet, but I recovered from sand. And you can see how it mushrooms. So those... So this is a modern bullet. That is a is modern bullet. Is that the bullet. same mold as this? No, it's just a little bit different style, but about okay. the same weight. Same gun. It a little more taper than this one, it looks like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty interesting. But mushrooms, when it hits hits a, a solid target. Yes, and that's what they'll do when they hit a solid. They hit a bone sometimes, they'll go like that. Look, but a buffalo is not considered a solid target? Ah, <laughs> uh, they are. They, they are. look pretty solid to me when they're standing Especially if they're coming after you, they're pretty yeah, solid. Yeah. But that's a little history of the... Uh, yeah, that's pretty interesting. So from 10,000 years ago to so, 130 years, 150 years ago to... I always think modern. about money because I don't have any, you know. What are things like this? What's the value of them other than for collection? You know, do they have a value other than personal uh, collections? That's a good question. I really don't know on the Sharps bullets. Uh, I've never. I'm not into the collecting mm -hmm. part. I just happened to find those and kept them when I was a kid. Uh, artifacts, of course, can vary. Uh, rare ones, if you get into the Paleo period, which is 8,000 years, uh, roughly to 13,000 years ago. Uh, those can become quite valuable, wow. depending well, on that. If I wanted to go uptown at the local store and buy one of those points, what do you think I'd have to pay for it? Well, this particular one, uh, I've been told by a collector if that was full, it's been actually broke up the base where this, this was a little bit longer. It was probably about that long and was hafted or tied to a no, spear point good. and it broke right there and you can see the little fractures there and the mm -hmm. tip is missing. But if that was whole, I had a collector tell me he'd pay 120000 for it, which... Don't touch it. I believe <laughs> Dollars? 
Yeah, uh, yeah don't, dollars. Don't touch it. <laughs> I think I'm sitting too close to it already. I think, yeah. <laughs> That's really neat. And, and that was found on this property? That was found right where you guys were hunting. Same pasture. I should have been looking down. You think of the yeah. historical significance of that. Here, we were out there hunting in the same place that the buffalo hunters were hunting. 10,000 years and, ago. And then where the Native Americans were hunting 10,000 years ago. That's a, a good point. The historic tribes like the Omaha, Ponca, Lakota all used to hunt this area for bison back, you know, 150 years ago. That was a staple. Ago. That was, that was that the main they, food they, source. They lived on that. They had a a non-vegetarian diet for the like main part of the diet plants. way back then. Huh? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, so everything changes, but nothing changes. Nothing changes. That's, That's exactly really interesting, right. man. That, that is really interesting. So you guys have done something not a lot of modern hunters have done. You've taken buffalo with a replica gun, 1874 replica gun, using black powder loads and hand cast the way it was done back then. So That's great. congratulations. Well, thank guys. you for that opportunity again. Good job, Rick, we've Jerry. had a great, great hunt with you here. Well, we've really enjoyed having you guys and hope you can come back well, again. So You're too. more than welcome. You guys I, are both good shots also. Well, thank you. I, I hope if we do get to come back, it's not zero outside. I, you know, it was it was nice and it was fun, yeah. but it was cold. We ran out of degrees yesterday. We were totally out of degrees. Oh, this was, this was warm day for Nebraska. Yeah. We'll come back in a little bit warmer. Like okay, 40, that'll maybe. work. 40, that'll 30, work. I can live with that. <laughs> this southern is about to freeze to death up here. You know, before, uh, before we go, I wanted to ask you, what does... Uh, Sandhills Outfitter, what what types of hunts do you have up here? Uh, buffalo is our main staple. We also offer uh, turkey. We do a couple mule deer hunts per year, but that's our main thing. Um, buffalo keeps us busy. If you do want to book with us, we right now we're book, booking about two years in advance. So. Uh, we That's keep fantastic. Really the, great. the business is going that well. And if you come up here, you're not going to lose weight because Doris is going to feed you. <laughs> That's right. My wife's not going to believe I was off hunting. She's going to want to know how I came back heavy when I left. Yeah. You know, but, uh, we do have video to prove it. So. Well, again, we really enjoyed having you guys and hope you come back. Thank you very much. Rick. Thank you.